This building was once the center of newsprint production in Grahamstown. Earlier this year, however, it has moved to the Rhodes School of Journalism. This move has raised many questions. Grocott's Mill is the oldest operating newspaper left in South Africa. Established in 1869, the building has been the base of operation until late January this year. The move has caused much concern for many community members. Malabongwe Diamani is one of the reporters who preferred to work from the old building. He explained why there has been much unease around the move. I found it uh, a bit difficult uh, working at the AMM building because there we are not close to the people. Now that you are based there in the university, are you, are you a community newspaper or a student news agency? You know, uh, we, we get comments like that and our content we, hasn't changed. I mean, we still cover our community stuff. The new site for Grocott's Mail is found at the heart of Rhodes campus. It offers many technological advantages as well as student support. Speculation developed around the newspaper becoming another student press. Grocott's general manager, Steve Kronberg, however, ensures that this is not the case. The newsroom is being located here in order for journalism students and lecturers to participate more actively in the, in the process of production of content for Grocott's Mail. We see ourselves as still completely based in the community. We're a community newspaper. So we don't see ourselves as being merged into the university. We see ourselves as locating our base of editorial and production here. And that's going to, be the, that's going to remain the case because we are a professional outfit and we all see ourselves as independent journalists. The Rose Journalism Department provides the resources that enable the newspaper to continue the level of journalistic work that the community deserves. Grocott's Mail's ability to adapt is what keeps it as South Africa's oldest newspaper. This is Natalie Austin reporting for GMTV, Grahamstown.